Hey, hey, hey. It's your girl. Y'all, it is week one of the band deal. And I'm anxious. I, I really am. I've never done anything like this, but I'm excited at the same time. So this week, what I'm doing is I am preparing the flooring, um, the floor of the van. If you remember when I showed you the video before, the person had already built out the floor, but I removed all of that because I'm the type of person, I need to know what is up under my floor. Um, I'm going to be in this full time traveling and I want to be warm. I want to be cool. I want to be safe. I want to know that I ain't falling through the floor. I want to know all those things. Not in, I ain't dissing the person that did it before, but I need to know what I have for me. So I yanked up everything um, yesterday and over the past weekend. And unfortunately, I don't have footage because I got to work in and I forgot. And at any rate, it's down to the bare metal of this van. So if you want to see what it is that I'm going to be working on this week, stay tuned because I'm going to come back and show you. And before you go, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do that and hit the notification bell so you will know when I am uploading videos about this build. Let's do it! <laughs> All right, so let me show you what we're working with on the floor so you'll know exactly what I'm working with. The biggest things that's a culprit in any automobile is rust. And when I pulled these floors up, which I'm so grateful that I did, I found out that there was rust up under the floors. And there were also some pockets that had not been filled in, so air was just yeah it it was a little crazy so let me show you so these are the floors and this is where the biggest part of the rust is and it's back here in this area and it's really not that bad it's surface rust for the most part which is good um if it were deeper than that it would have eaten through the metal and then i would have to weld things and all those things so that's that the other thing is this this is the wood glue and i'm assuming that's wood glue that she used to um frame the floor putting two by twos on the floor i have to remove that as well so i'll have a smooth surface to do my framework let me show you the products that i'm going to be using to do this work the first one is the Rust-Oleum Rust Dissolver. Um, that's going to be on the rust. That is on, not only going to get rid of the rust, but it's also going to protect the metal against possible rust in the future. And then when I finish doing that, I'm going to prime the floor and I am going to um, paint the floor with Rust-Oleum metal paint in white. So it'll be nice and pretty even though I'm going to cover it now for the wood glue I'm going to be using this this both of these are chemicals um, and since both of these are chemicals your girl's got this mask on I've got my heater going and I've got the fan um open on the roof and I've got the door open and a window cracked and it's still not enough so I am doing this removal of the wood glue first because that is the worst smell. Um, so let's get into it and I'm gonna put my mask on. And I also have chemical gloves. Let me show you. I have chemical gloves that I'm gonna be using to protect my hands, protect myself, and um, yeah, come out of this in one piece. So, yeah, I'm gonna get to it.
first time in years. Got my feet across the border from a land of tears. Ain't no way I'm going back under. This ain't no joke. I'm so glad she don't have a whole lot of this on this phone. Woo, chat. I think I'm gonna have to treat this side again. Didn't have this much problem on the other side before. So it may be also that the temperature has dropped as well. So, but I'm gonna get this done today. All righty, let me put some more stuff down. So this is how the floor is looking. This is half of the floor. I've gotten pretty much all of the wood glue off of this half of the floor. Woo! Let me show you. There's a lot of trash in there. So I'm pretty proud of myself. Now I'm gonna try to finish this side. And that's all I'm gonna do today and tomorrow I'll tackle the rust, hopefully. But I will come back and show you the finished job. And I'll actually show you how I'm getting this up off the floor also because I realized I didn't show you that but those scrapers right there that is what I'm using to scrape up the wood glue after it's been sitting in the paint and epoxy remover so yeah it's coming along slowly but surely says that I'm supposed to put this on thick using a brush, a paintbrush. So that is what I'm doing. And you're supposed to paint it in one direction. So that is the process. And I'm doing several little spots. And the reason why I'm doing it this way is so that when I start picking up, um, lifting up the first one, these will have seasoned. And I can just keep the process going because I really want to finish this today. And I really want to not smell this smell anymore. <laughs> so, 
Yeah. Wish me luck. <laughs> Wish me luck. And it's a real thick consistency. You can see that? It's like, yeah. So, hopefully this will take care of the entire van. Whew. So this is the floor after getting all of that wood glue up. Not only <laughs> did I get the wood glue up, but I also removed any silicone heat foil, HVAC heat foil, or whatever that stuff was. So, because a lot of the places actually had rust in them. So, I am going to be refilling all of these holes after I treat the rust, stop its pro progression, convert it and protect this floor so yeah this is what it's looking like right now and i decided i'm gonna go ahead and leave the spray foam in these big ones um just because it's just too much work to get them out and it is working so that is the floor now i am going to have to remove these seats and do the front but I got to take her to the shop so until I can get her completely done um, as far as mechanically I won't remove that until then because I'm gonna have to treat that too because let me show you Ugh, let me see where I can find some there's some rust up under there too so I'm just gonna make sure she is all protected so right now I'm getting ready to mop. I've already swept it. And I'm getting ready to mop the area. Yep, mop. You hear that southern draw, don't you? I know, I know. And I'm using the Totally Awesome and a little bit of Dawn to make sure I get all the oil, all the glue, everything off this floor so that I can um, put the rust um preventer and all that stuff on there but i will bring you along with me um to see that process all righty let's get to it
So I have cleaned the floors. I cleaned them with um, the Totally Awesome and some Dawn mixed together. And then I rinsed them with just plain water two times. Um, and then I let them dry. So now the real work starts with this. This is the Coracil Rust Converting Metal Primer. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I am going to be using like a paint roller. Matter of fact, let me show you. Sorry about all the noise. I'm going to be using this paint roller to apply this to the floor. And what it's going to do is that it is going to not only treat this rust, the surface rust, it's going to convert it. So basically it's going to take it back to its original chemical composition is what I understand it to mean. And then it's protected. So then my floor will be back in a safe place for me and then I can start to lay the framework to build my floor and put my vinyl planks down and then start building the van out so wish me luck because I got to shake this a lot <laughs> yeah it's a lot but it's worth it and um I want to do things right um I promised this van that if it took care of me, I would take care of it. And I'm going to take care of it, so she's going to take care of me. And, um, yeah. So, let's get to it. I forgot one key thing about the Corosil. It is actually going to go down looking like a white, tannish, creamy looking color. But when it starts to interact and start to convert the rust, it's going to turn to gray, black, blackish. Um, so it's the floor isn't going to be white anymore unless I paint it white, which I'm probably not since I'm going to be covering it up anyway. So I will show you that, okay? So this is what the Coracil looks like applied. It's like a white, tannish, creamy looking color. I am going to let it sit and dry and let's pray that it does its work <laughs> and we'll go from there. And then if it does, I'll do the rest of the van. Week one of the van bill is in the books. And I'm so excited because for me, I did things that I didn't know I could do. And that was really what part of this van bill is about for me. Because I've done RV renovations. I've renovated houses and things that, you know, were pretty much built. But I've never had to build anything. I've never had to take anything down to its barest bones for the most part. And it have nothing, just be empty. Um, so, yeah, I'm so excited about that. And I hope that you enjoyed week one because week two is coming up. I'm trying to get this van built out by May, no later than June. So I'm going to be, I'm going to be doing a darn thing. Um, so, yay, we got week one done. I'm so excited. Thank you, thank you, thank you um, for coming along on this journey with me. And I hope you will join me every week. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do so and hit that notification bell also so that you'll know when I upload my videos. I am going to do my best to be as consistent as possible, but you know, life sometimes gets in the way, but my goal is to have a video up every week of the build. Um, and also, please make sure you comment, like, and if you feel inclined to do so, share the video. I would love to love grow my channel and I can't do that without you guys. This is not just about me, this is about you all. So. Thank you in advance. Thank you for being here with me and 
I'm so excited to do this with you. Take care and I'll see you next week. Thank <laughs> you.